Let's go find some gold! In these episodes I'm exploring the deep south of Europe, southern Italy. I'm gonna join forces with my friend Nora to make sure we don't leave one square centimeter unexplored in this beautiful area. Today I'm bringing you exploring an old abandoned masseria and then we are gonna treasure dive, revealing the secrets hidden in the bottom of Fear Cove. It seems like a very desolate land, but actually these are all olive trees. In this part of Europe, in this southern Italy area, this is what it looks like. Olive growth, uh, prickly pear trees, fig trees. All right. Let's go to find some ripened figs. Yeah, this place, this abandoned masseria is filled with fig trees. Wow, that's the entrance. I'd say that that's really abandoned. Oh, I see black figs over there. I have to reach them. Sorry, <laughs> Google Maps is still going. We're in the yard of this masseria. I see the doors are all open. Let's go to check out how it looks inside. Here there is a circular structure. I'm not sure exactly about what it is, but it could have been the place where they crushed the olive seeds to make the oil. Okay, look, there's a nice neat room with a pigeon darting out. Hello, anyone home? C'è qualcuno? It's all completely made of stone. And let's go to check out this hole in the wall. Hopefully not collapsing on me. Seem still look like semi solid solid. It's amazing. You can see all these details in stone. This was probably to hold some beams. Let's go out and check the other areas of this house. Here there's a stair. going upstairs here is probably where they lived electricity so it was used until not too long ago I mean must be a few years now but not so bad here I see a hole in the in the floor so I'm not going to go upstairs well maybe yes yeah maybe I can try I am still going uphill. This is quite steep. Wow, where am I? In an abandoned masseria, that's so cool. It's all made of stone and concrete. There's no other material, no plastic, no wood. Only stone. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this terrace, no way, that's wonderful, the, the floor is so wobbly here, I'm not sure if I can walk on it, is it safe, maybe, anyway look at the view on the landscape here, <laughs> that's amazing, that's really, really cool, really cool, there's more, you can go higher here, It's like a fortress. Wow, look at this. You can go even further up. And this is the actual roof. 
really really nice I'm going to walk here which are the pillars these are all the walls that connect the structure so I'm going to walk on the solid parts but anyway ha, amazing look at the view you can see the whole land around here and just completely abandoned why was this abandoned it was not profitable anymore what's the story who knows It's beautiful. This was the area probably of the kitchen and the dining area and the living room because um, here you can see there is a, an area with a cleaning part and here there's the fireplace where they used to cook. Here are a small storage area and a nice view and all the properties of course. Look at the, the ceilings and the, the dimensions of this room. It's totally uncommon to have such a luxurious space for yourself, even with a small fireplace. And of course, with two large windows on your possessions. The pigeon is back. Hey! <whistles> pigeon, pigeon! Okay, now I really have to eat some figs. I went out of the masseria because I want to reach the black figs tree over here. Look at this! It's filled with black figs! Wow! There are hundreds of kilos of this! No way! Look at the deliciousness of this! <laughs> fig jam, fig jam. This farm is abandoned, so so are these figs. I'm gonna go take a bag and fill it with these delicious figs because they are amazing and they deserve to be eaten by someone who appreciates them like me. So guys, I just arrived in this new location and check out the view from here. Now I'll just have a snack as usual, <laughs> my canned meat, and then we'll go to explore the beach over there. It's all a swimming area. This is perfect territory for the nomad. This looks awesome. It's a treasure hunter's dream. So <laughs> I'll be in the water soon checking out uh, what's in the bottom here. Morning guys, today is diving day, so I'm getting dressed here in the van and uh, I heard scratching on the on the body part of my uh, RV and guess who it was? Say hi to Nora! Hello! Yes. Nora was here too, so we had to team up again. So it will be a very interesting day. We are gonna use these small metal detectors because we're gonna dive where there are very big rocks and these small detectors can get um, in the cracks very easily. So now I'm all dressed up. You already saw her. Hello. Of course, you have already seen her in her videos and also my videos some time ago. And today we're gonna use this very technical equipment, which are the Nomad from Blue Tree, Nocta Macro, 
we are going to use this one because it's going to the cracks and the crannies and see uh, if these machines are better. Nothing left to do but to go in the water and uh, try out all this wonderful equipment. Which is We go right through them. We are already here in the Cala Paura Spear Cove. Let's see what we can find on the bottom here. It looks really promising. Big signals, very deep. So after 10 centimeters, I stopped digging. detecting for around uh, one hour here under the jumping spot but we didn't find much only bottle caps so probably we will have to go exploring a little bit more near the shore and under all that long walk uh, to until we reach the other beach this place is really spectacular because it's this very weirdly shaped cove it's like a double L cove and the open sea is over there but anyway it's a great fun to just to be here with this small detector which is so handy among the big rocks and the nomad that keeps you on the bottom sniffing rocks and putting the detector in the cracks as long as you need Really cool. Okay. Elettrico, esatto. Fantastico, non bisogna avere il BCD, tutto l'equipaggiamento. Si può cambiare la batteria in 10 minuti. Ho visto, sì, ho visto, sì. ho visto. Eh, anche abbastanza per lunga lunga per la 10 metri. Esatto, poi non hai bombole sulla schiena. Esatto, non bisogna andare nel negozio a ricaricarle. Cioè. Elettrico, la durata di quanto? Beh, più o meno un'ora. Un'ora e mezza. Dipende uno se respira anche un po' col boccaglio. Arrivederci. Buongiorno.
guy. It's okay, I found a bracelet ah. over there and like a silver looking one. Wow. You? I have nothing. <laughs> no, I found a uh, bracelet like yours, yeah. but all black. And then a uh, fishing sinker. And then a few coins, but uh, it's really difficult with these rocks. It is. I love finding lira. Never good found a lira point. before. Yeah, no, that's good. Good. You never found a lira before? Never. Ah, your first 50 lira. <laughs> ha, cool. for around uh, five hours and I found two rings and Laura found something else now it's really packed uh, it's time to get out of the water I finished diving Nora is behind me in a hole digging some lead out so soon we are gonna go back and have a rest but the place is amazing it's really awesome treasure wise not so much uh, but anyway, it was very interesting to see what the secrets were of this place. Nora is behind me, still digging in a hole behind me. There, there is some lead and some many targets. There is a honey hole. Soon I'll go back to the van and show you all the finds. See you later. All right, we had a very long dive, around six hours. And we had a quick snack here, sea view, sea front. And here on the fin, I have organized all the finds from today. Immediately the best find today. So this uh, glass bead, this heart, which is definitely the number one find, is the Madonna, is some kind of a religious medallion. Then we have two rings, two costume and jewelry rings. Uh, this one has some stones, but uh, surely uh, isn't... Uh, maybe it's silver, actually. I have to check about it. These two bracelets Nora found Nora found one of the three colored ones the Jamaican Jamaican flag ones Nora found the other one let me show you <laughs> yeah we found both in the same diving area probably the same guy or two people had the same uh, <laughs> two of these bracelets then we have a bunch of fishing sinkers around uh, I don't know 10 then a few coins, also around 10 coins. This one is very old, it's impossible to tell. The others are all Euro. And then we have this, which may or may not be a coin cookie. There is only one way to find out, right, Nora? We have to smash it. Yeah, let's smash the cookie. Coin. Perfecto. Now you smash. I crush, I crush the cookie coin. The baby cookie coin. There's a coin! Yay. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Do you see what kind it is? Oh, wait. Yes. There is a cut. Two coins. Oh wait. Is it two? Whoa! Oh, whoa! This is just a that, that's the print in the side of the cookie. So this was the cookie coin that crumbled into a mystery object made of a mystery metal. If you have any idea of what this could be, please leave it in the comment because it would be really cool to know because uh, our minds are completely oblivious to what this could be. I was 
driving and on the left I saw a structure that seems to be an abandoned masseria. The masserie are those country area that used to make oil, olive oil. I thought that it would be cool to go check it out. Okay. Vietato l'ingresso. Area sottoposta a video sorveglianza per ragioni di sicurezza. Okay, we can't go in. I'm not gonna jump any fence and challenge any authority. A huge abandoned masseria over there, but we can't go visit it. Well, maybe we can explore the next abandoned masseria. Thanks Nora for this incredible dive as always. Uh, best uh, diving and treasure hunting uh, partner that you can ever find. <laughs> See you later. See, See you the next time. time. The real figs flavor is in the skin. Let's keep uh, driving and go find some gold.